dissing. We don't see the competition. I drop off a ransom note that your art is missing, nigga. Uh, pay us in full with the money. Or she gon' get her fingers clipped off like Lil Sunny, huh? <laughs> M-Rack TV Pays, pays Y'all know the M-Rack room etiquette Pound that like button We gonna get right to it, man Listen The homie 50 Cent Got the message And he returned the memo Like, yo, listen, homie <laughs> Y'all talking about Y'all wanna shoot the hands You wanna shoot the fade this is what I do. Don't you ever forget. So we're going to get into this footage. Shouts to DJ Self. You know what I mean? Courtesy of his IG page and all that. Um, Uncle Murder's on deck. But let's get to it. We gonna, I'm going to take some calls. And we're going to talk about it, man. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. There's other things going on, but we're going to talk about this. This is the live show in Rec TV. Pound that like button. Salute to the Rec Mob. Let's get into it. All right, and then we're going to take some calls after the video. Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what do you say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. I don't give a fuck what they say. <laughs> <laughs> 50 ready for all the BS, he said. He ready for all the BS. Hold on. Let's get to it. I see my man Tyson in the building. I want calls, man. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. When it's an issue, get to the hands. Shoot the fade, whatever. Shoot the five. That's what we know. That's what we known for. Shooting the five. All that shooting the fade. I think that's some LA-ish. Shoot the five. You know, homie talking, Stevie J. Let's get to it. Hold on. Let me open the lines up. I know homies ready to talk. They talk. Salute to the wreck mob. We got the app on deck. I'm going to play the whole video, but, you know, it got some profanity in it. So I'm just trying to, you know, move around the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? So hold on one second. Let me um let me do this. Now, just in case y'all don't know, let me bring you up to speed. You know, I'm gonna give you a timeline of how everything went down as of recently. As you know, 50 been kicking in Diddy back on the regular. That's something he been doing. And but as of lately with this case, forget about it. You know what I mean? He been on them since all the allegations came out, like really hard. Pause. And as of last week, 50 Cent made a post of some disturbing allegations of Stevie J, you know, doing some fun boy activity. All right? And Stevie J responded pretty much like, you know, calling him Curtis, I want to shoot the fade. You know, saying you and your feelings about your baby mom's Daphne because she was ganging them. You know what I mean? And then 50 made a few other posts about Jocelyn, Jocelyn, um, pretty much calling him a fun boy. You know what I'm saying? Just clowning him on social media and all that. Hold on, let me make sure the lines is open. And last night, 50 Cent gets up with uh, DJ Self and Uncle Murder. I don't know if they was in a club or whatever. It looks like a club, maybe a strip club or whatever. And 50 let him know, like, yo, homie, you talking all that BS? Listen, let's get to it. So nevertheless, I'm going to get into this footage right here again. And the lines is open. Call me up. 310-598-2974. Pound that like button. Let's get to it. Yeah. Hold on. I don't know if the alerts went out, but we're going to work through it, regardless of what. Think somebody want to fight with my shit? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Put this on my page. Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what they say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. I'm gonna fuck what they say. Pays. Pays. What's up? What's going on? State your name, where you call it from, and keep it clean. Please, keep it clean. Talk to me. I got you. That's Anthony from Chicago. Yo, what's happening with your phone, my brother? Sound a little muffy. Sound a little muffled. Peace. You can hear me? Take me off speaker or take me off the earpiece. Your joint sound a little muffled, my brother. Yo. Yeah, hello? Yeah, I think it's I think it's crazy the whole Stevie J and uh fifty uh thing. Mm-hmm. I mean I uh Yeah, go ahead, speak your piece. I saw the video where he was like uh where he told uh fifty he want he wanna shoot the fade with him. Mm-hmm. Well, did and you... I've been uh, Yeah, go ahead. I've been following the whole uh, Diddy thing, you know, um, like the lawsuit with uh, with Lil Rod. Got you. Got you. You there, fam? I don't know what happened to fam. Call me up. I seen some other people call me up. The lines is open. Call me up. 310598. 2974, but I'm going to get back to this footage because the footage is like <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, homie was talking in slow motion. That's a fact, Tyson. Let's get to it, man. Let me get to this full footage because it's like three minutes. And um, yeah, let's get to it. I'm still taking calls, but in between time, we're going to get to this footage and we're going to talk about it. Think somebody want to fight with me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> <laughs> Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what they say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck what they say. Please, mute your audio. Mute your audio, fam. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. Fam, mute your audio. Yeah. Peace. 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 Rack is Peace. Rack, right? Yeah, this Rack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think 50 go win that, bro. Oh, that's that's a fact. Just do me a favor. Just keep it clean. State your name and where you calling from, good brother. Just keep it clean with me. Oh, um, I'm calling from Brooklyn, New York. What part of Brooklyn? JD, East New York. Oh, salute. That's where I'm from. So, you know, that's, that's, yeah, let's get it. I need that energy. That. Yeah, we vibing. I, I need that East New York energy right now. You said 50 <laughs> got this, right? I'm with you. Oh, yeah, you already know. I'm with you. Yeah, but I, I, I'm going with 50 on this one, man. Mm -hmm. Cause CVJ, like CVJ, he 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 talk too much. 50, he, <laughs> he about that. Bit. 50 is a street dude. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, that's I'm a saying? fact. 50 put in work. I never heard nothing about CVJ. <laughs> <laughs> Since he got up on Love and Hip Hop, that's when you know what I mean. I heard about him. No doubt. No. But yo, I'm gonna take the next caller because the lines is they they cover it crazy. Uh, yeah, do your thing, Rex. I'm gonna holler at you. Keep doing your thing. I'm watching it right now. Nah, I, I appreciate that. Just do me a favor. Download the app, the Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store. You know what I mean? I appreciate right, that. Right, Salute, King. All right, that. Let's get it, y'all. The, the calls is coming in hot. Call me up. I'm 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 doing these calls 30 seconds or less, man. You know what I mean? But I'm going a, I'm to a go back to the footage because the footage is, is, is kind of funny, but also when men got differences, I feel like this way it should go. You know what I'm saying? You know, put the gloves on. Y'all ain't got to kill each other, you know, with no, with no straps and nothing like that. But nevertheless, if it's a problem, real men put those gloves on or shoot the hands. Let's get to it. Think somebody want to fight with my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what they say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. Pays. Pays, meet your audio. Meet your audio. Pays. What up, man? What's going on? Talk to me, King. 
It's Shawu. What's going on, my brother? Salute. We ready? All right. Nah, I wanted to talk about that Fifty and Stevie J shit. Yeah, just just keep it clean. All I ask, keep it clean. Just if y'all, if everybody wreck mob, just clean, keep it clean. You know what I mean for the algorithm. All right. Let's let's get it. Talk to me. What you think about it though? Listen, like, I'm I'm for it. I'm for it. Like all that talking, you know what I'm saying? You know where I'm from? Ain't too much talking being done. Like you know what I mean? And I'm more so like, if it's a problem, I shoot the hands. You feel me? Like if it's really a problem, you know, in terms of if if I know you or we we ops or enemies, you know, the, the last result, we already know where it goes. But we ain't gotta go there. We could shoot the hands, and whoever wins, you know what I'm saying? We just leave it as that. You feel me? That's, That's how I feel fact. about it. How you feel about it? How you I feel about it? I don't think 50 it? gonna do it because it's 50, 50 do it, he gonna do it. He gonna fuck one of them niggas up. But <laughs> yeah, I, no, I just asked you to keep it like clean. That. You just went in. <laughs> oh, that was going in there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the algorithm with the curses, it it, it, it throws oh, off my bad. the reach. You know what I mean? Because they trying to keep it clean. YouTube with the censorship, all that. So like when there's a lot of cursing, they dumb down the video. They won't push it out as much and they take away the monetization and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah fact. Yeah, nah, it's all good. But um, I mean, I'm here for the entertainment. I We know it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I'm for the entertainment. That's just what it is, man. Listen. But yo, fam, I appreciate you calling. The calls is coming in hot. I'm going to get to the next caller, though. I appreciate you tapping in. All right? All right. All right. Yo, y'all got to keep it clean, bro. I, I ask y'all to keep it clean. Y'all know how my show go. Y'all still curse, man. Y'all y'all can't do that, man. Y'all 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 messing up the money. Y'all messing up the flow of the algorithm. Y'all got to listen, man. Before you call, just think. Think of your words. And no curse words. No profanity. Man. Peace. 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 Yeah, you you live, my brother. Take me off speaker or take me off the earpiece because all I hear is air. Talking, bro. This is Jamie out of South Carolina. All right. I spoke to you about the spooky hours. No I doubt. See you got the app, but you got it for the Android, so I can't get it, man. Yeah, nah, it, 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 it'll be ready for the Android, like, maybe today, maybe, you know, I'll make the announcement. I'll put it, in, I'll put it in my YouTube community when it's ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, go ahead, man, because I had downloaded your last app, but, you know, I know the situation because I've been listening because I listen to you all the time. So we just let this, let's put it out. But this 50 and um, fifty and Stevie J fight, man, I mean, come on, man. I don't know. Two grown men, two, two grown men, man, need a, I mean, Diddy already damn got enough. He, Stevie J right there. Make it no better. It is juicing. Just give it more fuel, fuel, fuel to that damn 50. And you know 50 ain't going to stop. But um, I'm going to roll with 50 with that um with that hand roll, though. But I think 50 will take him out in about a minute. Mm. I, give, I give him a minute. A minute. You give him a minute? I give, yeah, I give Stevie. I, I give him a minute. Mm. And, that, and that is the announcer. You know, once the announcer's over, you know, 50 come in and bye, 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 you know, and... Might call a little scrappy and Josh and all of them would be out there. They might just, you know, be cheering on the other side. So I would. What you thought? What you? What's your thought? I'm I'm with it. Like, but I know it's not gonna go there. But if they do happen to have like a celebrity boxing match, I got my money on yeah. fifty. I got my money on fifty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, they need to throw them in there. They need to throw them on the car right there with Tyson and um. Oh. Paul. Oh, great. I like that assessment. Well, that, that that's a good well, assessment. Hey, put put fifty that, and Stevie J right on there. the Tyson that's and Jake Paul card. I like that. That's 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 a yeah. good assessment. Hey, that'll be nice. But I, I'm, I know you got thirty second. But um, peace, mm -hmm. man. I'll give you all the next. Time. No Just, doubt. I, that on tap, man. I'm gonna download it and, and I'm gonna tap in. Nah, I appreciate yeah, that. What's what's your name? What's your name again, family? They call me J Hood. Jay Hood, all right, Jay Hood. Appreciate you tapping in. All right, all right, peace. Shouts to the homie Jay Hood, not the one that's formerly from D Block, but the homie that just called. So, 
Now, let's get back to this footage, man. I'm trying to play this footage all the way through, but the calls keep coming in. You know what I mean? Because they definitely clowning uh, Stevie J. Even DJ Self, he kicking Diddy while he's down. You know what I mean? Like, let's get it. A lot of people mad at DJ Self for saying, you know, no Diddy. And you can see Self kind of feeling like, damn. All right. I'm going to play the footage after these calls. Peace. Peace. Hello? Yeah, you live. How you doing? I'm good. Do me a favor. Mute your TV or your uh, computer. The last time. Yeah, the audio. So the audio don't bleed in the live. Okay, so mm -hmm. I don't have... It has nothing to do with this, but everything is just coming out. I'm looking at every YouTube channel. Why is Legina Golden pretending to be me? I'm Destiny Aaliyah, Aaliyah's daughter. Who's, I'm who's, shut up. who's pretending to be you? Legina Golding. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, the the love child of Aaliyah and R. Kelly. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, I'm very tired of it. Mm. Got you. Did I you... have pictures, everything. IG, Destiny Aaliyah 32 or 92. You have to check me out. I'm all over. Mm. So you saying you... You are Kelly and Aaliyah's, Aaliyah's daughter? That's what you're saying? Yes, and I'm waiting for a DNA test, too, as well. Wow. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me let me do this. Uh, what's your name again? You said Destiny? Yeah. All right. I'm going to lock you. I'm going to lock you in. Uh, I'm going to lock you thank in. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to reach out to you, all right? All right. All right. Peace. Yeah, that th that was a little different. Mute, mute your audio. That was a little spooky. Hold on. That was a little spooky. <laughs> spooky! Caller, who I got on the line? Shot town tow truck. Shot hey, town man, tow truck. Uh-huh. Good. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Going to knock that boy's head off. <laughs> No doubt. I appreciate you tapping in. I'm going to take these calls quick. My man. All right, my All right man. get that app. That Spooky Hours app in the um, Apple store. Peace. Right. Mutual audio. Mutual audio. Peace. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Let's get it. Keep it clean. Yeah, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota, man. I think 50 going to put hands on that boy. Mm, mm, I hear that. That's what's up. And why you say that? I know why, but why? You, I want the people to know. This why I say that because do on there talking about it. Mm -hmm. Fifty and say nothing. He mm -hmm. ready to be about it. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Forget talking about it. He ready to be about it. Yeah. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. That action. I like that live action. All this talking and capping. Do me a favor. Download that spooky hours app in the Apple Store. My man. Peace. 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 Yeah, what's going on, family? State your name, where you calling from, and keep it clean for me. Let's get it. My name is my name is D. I'm calling from San Diego. D, what's happening? Hey, man, let me take it a step further. Okay. New York needs the New York needs the W. Mm. Outside of outside of Cameron and Mace coming together and getting that money and showing the world that brothers you can night. Mm -hmm. New York don't got a lot of don't New York don't got a lot of W's. Mm. You got you guys are the leaders, man. You we we need y'all to represent. So if Fifty I mean, can come out of this with a victory, Fifty looking like the you know the champ. Well, now we got to talk because when you say New York ain't got no W's, like we ain't getting no W's. Hold on, man. I, I I take offense to that because I'm from New York and I feel like every day I hop on this live and put up content and do you know my numbers doing five, six, seven figure numbers. I'm winning. So, you know, and that's just me. And there's a lot of other people that's winning. You know what I mean? So let's get into the specifics oh, I, of that. You know what I'm saying? I hear you on that. Let me be more specific. Yeah. I'm talking about the head figures. I'm talking okay. about the head figures like Diddy. Diddy, 50, you know what I mean? The the main cats that are the mogul. Okay. You know what I mean? Diddy, Diddy right now, whether, I don't know if it's, you know what I mean? We don't know if everything is true or not. But right now, it's just not a good, it's not a good look for New York. 
Mm. Gotcha. Diddy's a leader. Diddy's a leader, man. He's always been in that leadership position. So that's what I mean. You know what mm. I mean? Uh, you're doing your thing. Mm. Uh, I just wanted to throw that in there. Well, 50 has an opportunity to do a clean sweep. He could take out Diddy. Be on top and knock out Stevie J. Mm, I see what you're saying from that perspective. I, I I get what you're saying. But look, on that note, to help another New Yorker win, like myself, that's that's on my way, on my way to being a heavyweight, download that spooky hours app in the Apple store. My man. Peace. 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 What's up? What's going on? State your name, where you calling from, keep it clean. That's Anthony from Chicago. All right. Shout out to the whole shot town Talk to me, Ant. Um, I, I think it's, um, I'm going with 52. I feel like, uh, I know 50 going to give uh, Stevie J them hands. Mm. No doubt. Okay, that's what's up. I appreciate you tapping in, my brother. Make sure you download that Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store, my man. Peace. 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 Yeah, you live. Hey. Mute your audio. You got to mute your audio, my brother. All right. It's Dion from North Carolina. What's going on, Dion? Salute. Hey, I think it would be awesome to have 50 and Stevie J on that. Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Yeah. Car. Yeah, we just mentioned that. We just mentioned that. Uh, yeah, also, I like, yeah. To, I like to say a joke, man. I was at Burger King yesterday, mm. and I ordered some onion rings, and the dude, the dude at the cash register asked me, did I want some zesty sauce? I took my glasses, <laughs> I, I took my glasses off, and I said, do I look like P. Diddy? No Diddy. No Diddy. No doubt. I like that. Salute. So, hold on. Let me ask you this. Burger King really selling... Zesty sauce? Yeah, they, yeah, they sell zesty sauce and Chick Fil A, but I forgot Burger wow. King sells zesty sauce. It, it's a brown. That's crazy. It's a brownish looking sauce. Brownish looking sauce. Spooky. That's all the way spooky. You, spooky. spooky. <laughs> Do me a favor. Spooky. D, I don't know if you got that app already. I know you said you was going to get it in the Apple Store. Get that spooky I was at. Yeah, I support M Red. And let's check this out. If mm. Stevie J and Fifty Cent do get on that Mike Tyson Jake Paul card. You know Diddy gonna come out dancing. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be epic. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That would be crazy. That'll make 50 mad too. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Let's yeah. get it though, my brother. Appreciate Diddy you tapping come out in. With Stevie J and Death on. Death and Joy. Ooh. Yeah, that'd Ooh, be crazy. That'd be, that'd crazy. be a good fight. That'd be crazy. But double deuces and, and bubble, bubble gooses. gooses. My man. Salute, man. Peace. Peace. Yeah, y'all, I'm, I'm going to get to this footage. I'm going to um, probably shut the calls down for at least three minutes, and y'all could call back in three minutes. Just let me get to this footage. I want to play the whole footage. All right? I'm going to shut the calls down. Let's get to it, y'all. Pound that like button. We talking 50 Cent versus Stevie J in a fight, boxing match. Or we can get a, you know, Diddy and Stevie J versus 50 Cent. Let's, let's, let's get to it. You know, it's all entertainment. And you know what I mean? I know a lot of y'all at work and I know, I know a lot of y'all, you know, just want to be entertained early in the day. Shouts to SJ, the whole wreck mob. Let's get to it. Why am I always on your page? <laughs> what they say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. I don't give a fuck what they say. Jump step to me, son. If I ain't with it. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Think somebody wanna fight me? I'm gonna shoot you. 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 I hope you get past the security. I hope you get past the security. Niggas is going to die, man.
Pays, pays, pound that like button. This is the live show where we let the people speak their mind. Call me up 310-598-2974. Let's get to it. I'm opening lines back up. The lines is getting crazy. I'm pretty sure they uh they ready to get back to it. Let's get it. We got the new app out, Spooky Hours, um, in the Apple Store. Download that, and um, yeah, let's get it, y'all. Hold on, let me um, here we go. Pace, 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 pace. State your name. Where you call it from? Keep it clean. Let's get it. My name Big D, man. Call it from uh. Milwaukee, man. All right. Hold on one second, D. Do me a favor, y'all. There's over 700 people in here. Make sure y'all pound the like button. Run the lights up. Take two minutes, well, not even two seconds out your time to just hit the like button. It's free. Just hit the like button, y'all, so the algorithm can push this video out because y'all y'all not really doing the right thing. You know what I mean? I'm giving y'all, not you, my brother. I'm giving y'all this good content, keeping y'all updated with everything, good laughs, everything. Come on now, hit that like button. It's, it's free, man. All right, uh, my brother, speak your piece. I'm sorry about that. Oh, no problem, man. I, I just got two statements, man. For one, man, Stevie known, man, for playing with the chicks, man. He ain't known for nothing the street. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and 50 is already certified. He got the OG Chaz that said the man can take care of himself. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You know, he said he, he, said he ain't no, me and no killer, but Physically, the man can take care of itself. So I, I, I think that's too much pressure, man, for my boy, man. No mm. I got, I got fifty on this one. No doubt, no doubt. So, you know what's so crazy? During this live, um, one of my callers, or two of my callers, brought up that the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul card should have fifty versus Stevie J on it. What you think about that? That'd be, that'd be real nice. Mm. That'd be real nice. I'd be dope. That would, that would. I ain't gonna front. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be sold out, but I'm I'm listen, I think that would crash the neck the Netflix server. If that happened. Oh, oh trust me, everybody will be tuning in for that. Yeah, that, that would <laughs> I think more hey, people hey, be hey, and to keep it real, that'll probably be just a bigger a bigger card as, as the Tyson fight. <laughs> yo, you know what's so crazy? That might turn into the main event, like you said. But yo, do me a favor, mm -hmm. download that spooky I was app in the Apple store, my man. Peace. Pace. Pace. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. Always mute your audio when you call MREC show. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just muted it. Okay. Let's get to it. State your name. Where you call it from? Keep it clean. Oh, what's up, man? Jersey Rick. I'm calling from Jersey City. All right. Shouts to the whole what's Jersey. What's going on, King? Everything good. King, I got this new Spooky Everything Hours. Good? Yeah, I got this new Spooky Hours app. I need everybody to download that in the Apple Store. It will be available on Google probably later on. You know what I'm saying? The official. All right. All right. So let's get to it, man. What's your assessment on this 50 Cent Stevie J thing? Okay. So Benzino was on Instagram, I think, and he's pushing that. He said that they should do uh, Stevie J versus 50 under the undercard of of uh, Tyson and that he'll fight Eminem as the third card, you know, the, the, the first fight. Because Benzino said he'll beat a uh, 50 cents in 30 seconds. I mean, uh, Eminem in 50 seconds. Mm. So you that's know, what he's trying you, to push. I'm going to say this. In all honesty, ain't nobody even checking for ben Benzino on that time. Only because he went on Drink Champs. I mean, for years he's been going at it with Eminem. But you went on Drink Champs and you cried and say, why we can't all get along. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm 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 confused. But you know, I, that's just my opinion I think and I see the comments, but 
I don't think nobody's really even checking for Benzino and Eminem to fight. Nah, he's just trying to jump on. A, he's just trying to jump on there and get a bag. They say he's sounding desperate too. <laughs> just trying to get like the fight pushing it, so he could get a bag. He's talking about everybody gets a bag, and I'm like, all right, this sounds suspect. But nobody want to see a Benzino and Eminem fight. Really, I don't even know what that looked like. Yeah. Like something out of an MTV comic strip or something, but 50 and Stevie J, that'd be something. I think 50 would take it for sure. That's a fact, my brother. But yo, um, I appreciate you tapping in. All right? Gotcha, King. All right, salute. Let's get it, man. Let's let's get to these calls, man. Call me up. I know it's early. I y'all used to me going um live in the afternoon or the evening, but we're gonna do the early morning thing too. I don't know, 201, I just answered your call. DJ Hustle, call me back. I don't know what's going on with your calls. It's like it's ringing um, once and then it's hanging up. So DJ Hustle and 201-874, call me back. I see the missed calls, but I don't know, for some reason it just, uh, it rung one time. Yeah. We got DJ Hustle. Salute, King. Yo, what's going down? Everything good, my brother. We got to get to that business we talked about too. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, yeah. I was, I just, I was just turned it on. I was looking at the topic. I watched the video you just played. At first, I said Fifty might beat him, but I don't know. Fifty was just talking and throwing a couple of jabs, and he looked out of breath in that in that video you just showed. <laughs> when you play, when you when you play the video back, right? Yeah, check your 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 in rec, real talk. When you play the video Yo. back, just keep looking at 50. As he talking, he out of breath. He threw two punches and he was talking out of breath. Yeah, hold on, hold on, he, hold on, hold on. You might have brought on a new narrative. Now I got to look at the video and really study yeah, that. Hold on, he, he hold on. out of shape. Hold on. Um, pound that like button. Um, gotcha. All right, hold on, not you, just the callers. Let me play the video back while you're on the phone. Because, um, you know, we keep it fair over here. Let's do it. <laughs> no, I, I want you to look at his, watch his breath, how he's, how he's talking. He's out of breath. All right, let's do it. Ain't somebody want to fight with my shit? What you say about me? <laughs> Why I'm always on your page? <laughs> <laughs> what you say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fuck with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step to me, son. <laughs> <laughs> if I ain't with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, ready. Oh, oh, nah, I, I I disagree with you, my brother. I just played it back and nah, homie was um had you know what I mean? His breathing was good. You know what I mean? I don't know. He looked, he, after he threw the punches, he started looking like a little, I don't know, man. I, I went 50, but if he out of breath with that little bit of punches, I don't know. Because CBJ looked a little bit. All right. So, CBJ got, so I'm glad you brought on a new narrative. So now all the callers and everybody in the chat room, uh, shouts to DJ Hustle. DJ Hustle said he feels like 50 Cent was out of breath when he threw them set, shadow punches. You know what I mean? At the camera. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Looking back at the footage, and we're going to study the footage again. So, Rec Mob, pound that like button. <laughs> DJ Hustle. Uh, Got you, Rec. Let them know where you're from. Back and get what? Where you from again? Let oh, them know. DJ Hustle from VA, Virginia. We are here. VA, two up, two down. Okay. DJ Hustle from VA he said 50 Cent looked like he was out of breath when he threw those shadow punches at the camera. You know what I mean? So yeah, cause look at when he started talking too. He starts talking like he out of breath. Okay, all right. So we're gonna let the people. A lot of people saying already. And um, some people said facts. Some people said that's a reach. Some people say they disagree. So look at the chat room and, and all the callers. They're gonna be calling up. So be ready for the smoke. All you right, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I want you to silence. No doubt, peace. <laughs> so look, DJ Hustle, not me. I disagree. Says 50 Cent looks out of breath throwing those shadow punches at the camera. Let's look at this footage again. Let's get it, y'all. Wreck them off. The, the lines is open. Let me know if you agree or disagree with DJ Hustle. 
from VA. Pound that like button. Let's run it. Somebody want to fight with my shit? Oh, shit. What did you say about me? Why am I always on your page? What did you say about me? Yo, <laughs> Prince of New York, nigga. I don't fuck what they said. <laughs> Jump step to me, son. <laughs> if I ain't with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't doing it. Ready for all the boys. Think somebody want to fight with my shit, son. I should have stopped with that bullshit. You got to have that bullshit. Come on. I, I hope you get... Even 50 responded to DJ Hustle. My issue sharp. Go ahead with that bullshit. <laughs> Peace. 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 How you doing? I'm I'm good, my brother. Pound that like button, y'all. Um, state your name, where you call it from, and keep it clean. And I want to address this narrative. I want to address everything. But I know you want to speak your piece, but I also want to ask you, does 50 Cent look out of breath after throwing those shadow punches? You know what I mean? So speak your piece first, which you want to, you know, whatever it is you want to say, but then go into that also, all right? Okay, this is Anthony Lee. Used to fight out of Ham Boxing Gym. Mm. Uh, Bob Two Shop Johnson and his brother James Hurst. I remember when everybody went pro, Daryl Coley, William Joppy. We was all amateurs together in the 80s when dc was the murder capital of the world that being said with the experience that i have from observing and assessing 50 cent throw these punches i didn't know he was that shy to be honest with you mm. they came off the way they were supposed to it was a good three-piece combination now whether or not he was out of breath don't even matter because he can get in shape that's what the jump rope is for that's what jogging is for. So by the time he get in the ring to face his opponent, he'd be in tip-top condition, him and Stevie J. Boat. Now, when it comes to boxing, it, it's skill for skill. Who the better fighter? Who got the most heart in there? And who, uh, is in terms of effective aggressiveness and ring generalship, these are all the things that come into play. Because I'm 50 years old, and... Um, I could survive in there with anybody because of my experience. I know how to keep from getting knocked out. You know, whether I'm smothering a guy punches, stopping him with the jab, whether I'm wrapping him up when he get too close, you know, hitting him and taking what he gives me. Take what a guy gives you, you know what I'm saying, and not be greedy, you know, and keep everything on a pro level, you know. So I got to see them in a ring to be able to make an assessment. But going off of him throwing punches and him being out of breath, if I throw three punches right now, and I'm going to be out of breath. Mm -hmm. Bob Tushab Johnson threw three punches right now, he out of breath. If Floyd Mayweather team training, he's going to be out of breath. But that don't take away from the skill set and, and the work ethic. So anytime you have a, a, a three weeks, four weeks, the jog, jump rope, do your shadow box and hit the bag, spa in the gym, you're going to be in shape the night of the fight. Mm. That's the main thing right there. Got you. Let me do this. Let me get your name again because what I want to do, you know, I cover boxing as well. You know, I'll be at the boxing events. I'm, I'm going to start, you know, locking back in with it. I haven't did it in like, you know, maybe a year or so. But um, I'm going to get some boxing you know, analysts on a platform. So being that you in the box and fail, let me get your, your handle. And um, I can get you speaking on like some fights and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Giving your assessment. You know what I mean? I'm going to give everybody a shot on MREC TV that got, you know, some knowledge or some talent. What's your handle? What they call you? Okay, I'm Anthony, A-N-T-H-O-N-Y, Lee, L-E-A. Mm -hmm. Telephone number is two. I, I, I got it. I got it. You ain't got to put it out there to the public because it's gonna be thousands of people, ten thousands of people watching this. I got it. You know what I mean? Yes, so, sir. So I got you. I got you locked in. So I'm gonna um hit you behind the scenes either later on today or during the week. All right. Thank you, big brother. Y'all have a blessing. All right, you too, my brother. Let's get it, yo. Call me up three one zero. Pays.
Peace. Peace. All right. That caller was anonymous anyway. Anyway, don't call me um, from a block number, anonymous. Um, anybody that called up, I miss your call. Call me now. 201-874. The line is open. Let me see who else. 414-676. Call me up. The line is open. 318-934. Call me up. The line is open. 410-908. Call me back. The line is open. 786. Uh, 481, call me back. The lines is open. Right. Peace. 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 Hello? Yes, you live. All right. I don't know what's going on. Cool. All right. And that's what I get for taking anonymous. I know better. Don't call me for no block numbers. I'm not with it. You know what I mean? If you blocking your number in 2024, something is wrong. You know what I mean? Let's get it. Let's get back to the footage. I'm going to study this footage. The homie DJ Hustle said 50 Cent was out of breath throwing those shadow punches. Pound that like button, y'all. We, we kept 700 in the room for a good while. It should be over 700 likes. Peace. Out of breath. Which okay. audio? Mute your audio. Always mute your audio when you call MREC TV, please. I got it. What's up, MREC? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. State your name, where you calling from, and keep it clean. Let's get it, my brother. This is I'm calling from Delaware. I shout but, to the um, whole Delaware. I just wanted to say, don't you think it's kind of strange that Diazio is offering 50 in a deal now to be the uh, ambassador for Chirac? Yeah, um, I got to see if that's right and exact, but if that's the case, that's crazy. That's very odd. That's very odd. Yeah, they put that. They see people got to really look at this this thing real deep and see what's really going on. Because you know, I ain't really, I ain't feeling you know Diddy like that. But it's just crazy that after that thing, after he sued them or whatever, all this stuff is coming downhill on him, and it's just crazy. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That's a but fact. But yeah, I want to say one thing to you, man. I salute you. Because I was listening to your show the other day. You said something that was crazy. It was real. What's that? The realest thing I heard. When you told, the, when you told your uh, rec mob that you want them to buy shares and all that and be oh, yeah. part of your company. Oh, yeah. That's that was the thing I've heard any YouTuber say ever. I mean, salute. I appreciate that. Um, With me, if you notice, I'll be trying to put people on. Like, I, uh, two calls ago, yeah. I just... Somebody called up, said they was a boxing trainer or they, they used to be a boxer. I'm taking his number so he can start covering sports and boxing on my channel. That's what I do. I put people on to the money. I put people in position. But the thing about with me, all I ask for is appreciation because you put people on and then they get comfortable with you. Like just say like, that's why I'm going to be honest. I don't I don't give people my direct number. You know what I mean? Because right. when they got right. accessibility to you like that, they they lose respect or you know what i'm saying before it was like damn how can i get in touch with mrec and then they didn't have my direct and then you give them your direct after you know a year or so you're doing good business and then they get comfortable or they start you know getting you know they're not hungry no more so my thing is right. stay hungry stay appreciative and just respect the architect you know what i'm saying and you know that's I'll all feel. that's all I feel. you know what i mean so on yeah, that on, on that note, but my brother, uh, the Spooky Hours app, I'm glad you brought that up. Spooky Hours, y'all. Get the new app. Watch the full TV show, the mini series we got. Go to the Apple Store. It should be available later on um, on Google. We just got some things we got to work out. So I'm going to put the official announcement for the Google app, you know what I mean, uh, being ready maybe, maybe later or tomorrow. Say it again. I said, that's what I need because I have an Android phone. Okay, so um, my YouTube community, and then when I put up the commercials, it's gonna, mm. I'm going to make those announcements. I'm going to give you the updates when the, um, All right. when the Android app is ready for the spooky hours. All right? All right, I'm wreck one. All right, one. Peace. Yeah, man, that's what we do over here at MREC TV. Myself, um, I, I like to see everybody win. You know what I mean? Like when you look at these artists, your favorite celebrities, 
it's about you just always putting money in their pocket and they not really giving back, you know. And the thing about it, it's enough money out here for everybody. And I'm on some each one teach one. You feel what I'm saying? So I could build with anybody. But you know what's the illest thing? I build more with strangers than people I know. It's it's weird. I guess that's how it goes. But I know people all my life that I done did right. It was always love, but they ain't never lock lock in with me on the business. They always, you know what I mean? <laughs> they always campaign somebody else or they always act like what I was doing wasn't what it was. But it is what it is. The, the closest people to you would never look at you in the light that you in because I'm going to be honest with you. It's either out of jealousy or they just don't want to accept the fact you are who you are. So just know that. All right? Pound that like button. Let's get to it. Call me up. 310-598-2974. I want to study this uh, 50 cent footage real quick too. Peace. Peace. What's up, Rick? What's going on, my brother? Not much. Um, that boy Smith kind of still kind of displaying some self behavior. Like, why are we not talking about that though? Say it again. I say Fifth is kind of the kind of displaying some self behavior. Why are we not discussing that? We discuss all that. I, I I discussed that on my last lives and all that. If you've been tapped into my lives, you know I always address everything from every aspect. But you know. I, yeah. I just I just don't want to keep leaning on the same topic. So when other topics come up and, or other narratives, I I go with that because I already addressed that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But uh, only thing is, before I get off, I just want to land my plane, man. That listening to that uh, that Biggie, uh, the world is filled. That sound kind of crazy today. Mm. What 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 lines you talking about? Listen to that, man. The whole monologue from. The whole monologue from Too Short at the end, like you can apply that to Fifth right now, and mm. then just listen to Diddy verse. He Diddy verse. He just kicking it. To, I don't know if Mace wrote that or not, but man, Diddy kicking that. He man, that boy say he jump so hard he drag his mink on the floor. And if you listen to them lyrics, mm -hmm. it's crazy, right? But I'm a, I'm a lamb a plan, right? All right, no doubt, family. I appreciate you tapping in. All right, make sure you get that yeah. app. All right, I need everybody. Download the Spooky Hours app. Everybody been asking about it. You can watch the TV show. Download the app. Make sure you subscribe, okay, because you can't watch the TV show without subscribing. It's in the Apple Store. I'll make the announcement either later today or tomorrow about Google, the updates. They got to fix something. The Google app is not right and exact, all right? So, But I'm going to give you the update when it is. But the Apple one is... It's right and exact. Let's get it, y'all. The link is in the uh, chat room. SJ is going to keep putting all the links in the chat room. Thank you, SJ. But we here to work. Let's get to this footage. Let me, um, let me um, take off for the calls right now, but people want to see this footage. All right? I'm going to put the calls on timeout. I'm going to get to this footage. I'm going to open the lines back up in three minutes. I got to study this footage because people saying 50 Cent looked out of breath. Well, DJ Hustle did. Everybody else, well, a few other people agreed with him, but I, I want to study this footage. Oh, shit. What you say about me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I'm always on your page? <laughs> what you say about me? <laughs> so, what you say about me? Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. I'm going fuck what they said. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stuck to myself. Uh, <laughs> if I ain't with it. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't doing it. That's all I got to say. Think somebody's going to fight with my shit. I'm going to with that bullshit. I'm going to with that bullshit. Come on. I, I, I hope you get past the security. <laughs> I hope you get past the security. Niggas is going with the night, man. Yo, I told you. You want me out of here? 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 
Yeah, hold on. 50 said something wow. And I, you know, I caught it before, but did he just say, you talking about trying to beat me, beat the feds? You seen all those niggas at Diddy House? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. It was a lot of niggas at Diddy House <laughs> when the feds kicked in the doors. I think they, they locked up like 15 niggas. <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. That almost slipped. Now nah, we gotta, we gotta, now nah, we gotta address that. <laughs> we gotta address that. That's, that's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Like, cause you gotta think, all right, if the feds so called was kicking in his door randomly, right? That means that any given time, it's 15 plus niggas at your crib. <laughs> Spooky hours for real. Spooky! Go get that Spooky Hours app, man. Stop playing. Go get Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store, because that's spooky. I'm going to run the footage back. I got you. Y'all got to listen to the footage. Nigga 50 said, you talk about beating me. Go beat the feds. You see all them niggas at Diddy Crib? <laughs> Yo, it's early in the morning. Oh, man, I ain't even have my, um, my tea or my breakfast yet. It's all good. I'm going to get to that, but... I had to get to this, man. I, I I love the live action. Let's run the footage, like the homie uh, Crypto said. Did somebody want to fight with my shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what you say about me? <laughs> Why I'm always on your page? <laughs> what you say about me? <laughs> Yo, Prince of New York, nigga. I'm gonna fuck with this That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, you talking about trying to beat me, beat the feds. You seen all them niggas at Diddy House? <laughs> That's wow. I ain't gonna hold you. Cause when you look at the footage, let me try to pull up this Diddy footage, man. But like it's mad people, mad dudes, pause, that got locked up for being at his crib. When they kicked in them doors, the feds, home, homeland security, they brought out a lot of niggas, including his sons. What the hell is going on in these cribs, man? I don't even want to know. You know, at this point, it's 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 spooky. Spooky albums. Go get that app in the Apple store. You know what I mean? Got the full TV show. That was funny. Like, you know, the footage itself was good content. Shouts to DJ Self. That's courtesy of his um Instagram. Follow him on the gram. You know, I know Self for over 20 years. But, oh, my bad. Let me open the lines up. My bad. People saying they call. I'm sorry. I'm glad you remind me. Anytime when you see me don't have the um, phone lines on, if I cut it off for a few minutes, always remind me because sometimes I forget to put it back on. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, hold on. Shouts to um, Life Discussions and Trends for reminding me to put the lines back on. The lines is up. If you just call and you try to get through, the lines is up. I see some missed calls. 240-230-430. Um, Two five three. The lines is is open. Let's get to it. And Pace, Pace. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. And yourself? 
I'm good. I'm good. I wanted to speak on um, the 50 Cent and Stevie J situation. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. State your name. Where you calling from and just keep it clean. All right. No problem. Um, I'm Angela and I'm calling from Houston, Texas. Angela from Houston, Texas. Is this your first time tapping in with my channel? Yeah, and I need to like I also need to I need to get with you on some business situations. Can I email you? Okay. All right. Yeah, definitely. Not a problem. But give me your assessment because I gotta take a call on my other line. But you're gonna be live. I'm 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 just gonna step away. I'm gonna let you speak your piece. Speak your piece. All right. Yeah, I think 50 Cent is, um, we all know how 50 Cent is. You know, he's a brilliant, brilliant gentleman, but, you know, he he, he he knows how to stay relevant in the business, and he's been doing it his whole career. But I think he's upset. <clears throat> this vendetta goes back to when he was trying to get on, and remember when he was trying to get on, um, before his first album or whatever, and 50 Cent, I mean, uh, Diddy, denied him because I think Diddy was scared of him, you know, because he was just coming up out the streets at that time. And so I think 50 got a, a vendetta against Diddy for that. And then that's the reason why he's acting the way he's acting. And now, you know, we see forward to now and CBJ is with Diddy and, you know, he just clowning the whole situation, you know, and I think that's why Diddy is, I mean, 50 Cent is so, you know, hard on Diddy, really. And then Daphne and, you know, the whole thing with her. And, you know, that's why he's just all over Diddy like the way he is. And Stevie J just, you know, want to get in the mix. Are you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. That's okay. <clears throat> All right. I mean, you was pretty much running the show. I just had to take another call. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I appreciate you. I don't know what was said, but I'm gonna listen back. But um, thank you for um calling in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and um download that Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store. That's my app. You can watch my um TV show. All, All right. right, but how can I stay in contact with you though? Seriously, oh, because I need a little bit of some insight. Some... However, I can assist you, and then I need you to help me out because I'm trying to get my channel up and going. All right, so we got the um promo packages. So email me um mrectv submissions at gmail dot com. We're gonna put it in the chat room, and I'm gonna put it on the screen. All right. All right, m mrec submissions dot com. mrectv submissions at gmail dot com. So I'm gonna put it in the chat room. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. Peace. The line's been on fire, man. I was on the other line. Pardon me, y'all. I got things Ooh. going on. You know, at my other businesses and stuff like that so i'm getting calls um i don't know what happened in the last six minutes so y'all gotta fill me in peace state your name where you calling from keep it clean peace yeah peace all right i don't know it's mad people calling but for some reason a lot of your calls is ringing one time. Peace. 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 State your name, where you calling from. Keep it clean. Let's get it, my brother. Yeah, it's D from Chicago. All right. Everything good. Talk to me. Yeah. Now, I, uh, I was listening to the uh, sister that was just speaking. You know, she made some good points. And, you know, uh, 
Yeah, like she said, we all know 50 Cent, you know, he a street guy. But, you know, I kind of been following this thing, you know, from the beginning, you know, like most people tuning in on, on social media and, you know, and things like that. Mm-hmm. But to me, it appears like 50 Cent, let, for number one, he from, where did he know from, you know? And, you know, number two, he from the streets. He known these guys for a long time. And, you know, just to uh, tap in on what the sister was just saying, she thinks 50 gave a vendetta, you know, po- uh, possibly when he first was trying to come up and Diddy when you know, mess with him. You know, that, that could be it, but, you know, I don't think it is. You know, 50, we all know he at the height of his career. You know, he done, he done you know, passed his prime. And true, that's true, he's still relevant. But, you know, with 50 being from the street, I think it's more so that 50 know these type of guys. And most people would be like, why 50 going so hard? on Diddy now, you know, I agree with him. You know, you got these type of guys, man, you know, you're supposed to go hard on them. And then you got guys like Floyd Mayweather and Stevie J and them. I'm quite sure they got daughters so they can understand. They got kids, period. So when you look at the things 50 being accused of, it's like it's too much. So you you can't overlook all that stuff. You know, that's one of the reasons the feds jumped in. You know, and, and then he got all these lawsuits. You know, like I said, I'm from Chicago. I, the dude, Rodney Jones, they got the lawsuit in that person that was working with Diddy. I personally know that dude. I know that dude personally. Oh, well, you, I, know, you know. Okay, so know so so let's do this. If you say you know him, do you think he lying? I don't think he lying. Mm. Mm. And, and you know, Rodney, that's a street dude too. Mm. But you know, I sat back. You know, I sat back and I thought about it. I'm like, okay, so if he messed with dude Diddy all these years. And, you know, like, I, again, I personally know this dude. I grew up, you know, in the same project this dude grew up in. It's Argyle Gardens in Chicago, out in the hundred. So knowing this dude, you know, some people may look like, oh, he, he, he's scamming. He, you know, he's trying to tap in on, like the lawsuit said, everybody else doing. But I know this dude to be a stand-up guy. Always mm. have been. Mm. And, he, you know, he's been in the music for a while and everything, producing, you know, and everything. But for him to come out with them allegations, to me, what I got out of his allegations that he was making towards Diddy is that he went wherever Diddy was at, started working with him. Number one, we know Diddy didn't pay him. We know Diddy got a track record of having people work and not pay him for their work. Number two, you know, I believe Rodney, when he said Diddy was trying to press up on him, you know, I, we don't know what people do behind closed doors. That we don't know. That's but, right. you know, just from the out, on the outside looking in, Rodney, never appeared to be that type of person, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not bashing nobody. I'm just saying I never saw that. So it made more sense to me when he came out, you know, with the lawsuit and everything to Diddy and Diddy trying to press up on him and he went with it. And, you know, most people say why he stayed around. He wanted his money. He was working for the dude. You know, you do work. A man's supposed to get paid for his work. But I agree. I agree. I agree on that. Uh, Anytime you put work in you're supposed to get paid for your work. But at the same time, you get what you negotiate also. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. And according to Rodney, he didn't get nothing. Damn. So Diddy was just working and working him and trying to press up on him. You know, that's the talk in the project that we formed. That's the talk of the project right that's, now. Hold on, hold on. That's about. hold on. That's what they're talking about in the projects right now. Let me know what the projects are saying. Talk to me. Man, it, it, I mean, like I said, everybody know Rodney. Rodney mm-hmm. never appeared to be that type of guy. You know, most people didn't even know Rodney just disappeared. Most people didn't even know that he went to go work with Diddy. Mm. You know, he, he bounced back and forth, you know, uh, from from Chicago to wherever he was going, whether it was New York or Florida, but working with Diddy, he was going back and forth. But most people from the project didn't know, you know, what he was doing. Mm. So uh, man, I, be, I believe everything he's saying, man. And, you well, know, well, let that, me ask you this. Me. Let me ask you this real quick. Um, when When was the last time you saw Rodney? Man, last time I saw Rodney was maybe in the beginning of last year. Oh, okay. okay. The beginning of last year. It was like uh, in the springtime. It was a it was a picnic. We, we was having a picnic out here, and he showed up. Hold on, y'all was you know, having Rodney, y'all was having hold on, Rodney. y'all was having a picnic. You was having a picnic with your family, or you was having a picnic with the homies? Oh, we was just having a community a community. Oh, picnic, community you picnic. Know, okay, it sounded a little I, spooky. I had to, you know, what I mean, clarify that. But yeah, continue on. Stop the violence picnic, in, you know, in the projects because of all the violence in okay. Chicago. Okay, got you, got you. I'm glad you cleared that up. You know what I mean? Right. We was doing 
but we were having a community picnic. You know, we try to do something different for the kids because they really can't do nothing. So, you know, Rodney even uh, participated in that. He he uh he he put some money into that. You know, everybody from the project. You know, for some mm. for the kids. You got some going in, then you donate. He even donated for that. I uh, salute to him. He, 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 I mean, so you know, man. Then you know, just real quick. You know, I want to take too much of your time, man. Yeah. Like the situation with Stevie J. Like the sister was just saying, Stevie J, you know, he doing all, he, he upsetting everything. But, I mean, come on now. It's proof. Rodney put out pictures. Rodney said he got over 100 hours worth of video and audio. That's a lot. And if you notice when he said, see, I'm telling you, I know Rodney. If you notice when he came out saying that he got all his footage, that's when so-called the quote-unquote uh, audio of Diddy and Meek Mills leaked quote-unquote, supposedly. Man, Rodney got all that stuff. All right, hold on, my brother. Take over the show. I got to take this call. Hold on one second. Keep talking. Yeah, yeah uh, Rodney got all that stuff, and I, I believe him. He, you know, he's that type of guy. But, you know, I believe Stevie J. I mean, come on now, Stevie J, what you doing? First of all, Stevie J trying to come up and, and, and justify something that's going on with Diddy. Hey, like again with Floyd Mayweather, man, y'all standing up here trying to um, <clears throat> trying to uh, protect this guy, man. That guy jumped out there. He got many of people making these accusations against him. Come on, y'all got to get out the way. Only way they saying something because they probably partied with Diddy, like Cat Williams said, man. You got to tell Diddy no. Diddy, that type of guy, man. I heard on the radio last night here in Chicago, they was doing an uh, interview with a guy that know Diddy. This guy said, man. Diddy called him one night. He was laying in the bed with his wife. He said, man, Diddy come uh, and call him late at night, 2, 3 in the morning. He said, he answered the phone. His wife's like, who is that calling you this time of day? He said, he picked the phone up. It's Diddy. Diddy tell him, man, I'm in town. Uh, I'm at such and such hotel, and I'm partying. Dude said, oh, man, this Diddy. So he got up. He said, man, who all at the party? Diddy said, me. He said, man, he told Diddy, man, I... Uh, I'm gonna pass this one up. Uh, you know, I'm I'm at home. He stayed at home with his wife. I believe him. Did he? You, some people get so high and get so much money that they have this false uh, understanding that they untouchable. And I believe that's what the situation was with Diddy. It's too much proof. It's too much proof. It's too much proof all the way back from the Tupac murder. You know, like I said, man, I don't want to take up too much time, time man. I'm rocking with you, man. I love your channel, bro. Thank Keep you, doing bro. what you're doing. Man, I'm, have a good one. Bro. All right, Peace. you too. Peace. Yeah. Hold on. I'm out there a lot. Hold on. Peace. Peace. Hey, this is Angela again. I wanted to add a little bit more to what I said. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like pivoting back from 50 Cent to Diddy. But, you know, with with Diddy, I just feel like he's upset with 50 Cent because 50 Cent is, is doing it. I guess he's doing, allegedly doing a documentary of, of, you know, Diddy's situation. And so Diddy is probably gassing up Stevie J, you know, and and you know, trying to get Stevie J all in the mix, and just and Diddy is really upset with Fifty Cent, not understanding that Diddy got to remember that he did not help Fifty Cent out when he was trying to get in the game, you know. So Diddy got to understand that, and then Diddy just looking serious anyway. He should be ashamed of himself because he is risking his everything that he worked for. Because evidently he must have a sexual addiction or something. Something is going on with Diddy sexually, you know. So I just feel like you know the whole thing is like crazy, and we seeing witnessing them tearing down one another, and it's it's really sad if you really think about it, you know, because we already in the battle, been in the battle with the white man for so long, you know. So it's just crazy how everything is, and I just kind of wanted to add that.
Man, it's a lot going on. Hello? I know. Yeah. Coming. I'm sorry. I, I just had to take another call. <laughs> Loop. Private Are you call. okay? Everything all right? Oh, I'm good. It's just, you know, when you got other businesses going on, you know, you got to, I got to delegate from the phone. Yeah, I understand. You need assistance. Yeah. Yeah. You know, trust me. I know. You know what I mean? I'm working on everything. You know, I'm working on it. Take it to the next level. I can help you out if you need it. You know, once we get to know each other and you can trust me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Email um email your info to MREC TV submissions at gmail.com. I'm looking for All right. some assistance. All right. Yeah, yeah, All no right. problem. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right. Hold on, y'all. Let me um I might I might have to um get back with y'all, man. It's a lot going on, on some you know some personal stuff with some business. Um, I appreciate y'all tapping in. I want to be attentive to the show, so I'm not going to just keep taking calls because they keep calling my line. I got to handle uh some other business stuff. So on that note, thanks for tapping in. Thanks for tuning in to MREC TV. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure you download the Spooky Hours app in the Apple Store, all right? So you can watch the Spooky Hours TV show. Thanks to everybody who loving the new app and loving the series. A lot of people, they, they real impressed with the app. Right? I appreciate everybody that support. Man, salute to the Rec Mob. Salute to Gina Rose, SJ, everybody. Um, Key to T, love is love. I'll, I'll tap in with y'all later, all right? I appreciate y'all. Peace. Make sure y'all leave comments on this live. You know what I mean? Right now, go to the regular uh, uh, comment section. You know, go to my YouTube page, go to the live section, and find this video and leave a comment on this live. All right? Appreciate it. Salute.